वेलकम टू माय चैनल मरीन सी टाइम टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एल्टी वाटर कूलिंग और सेंट्रल वाटर कूलिंग सिस्टम एंड कूलिंग सी वाटर एंड सर्विस सिस्टम ऑन सिप्स सो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एल्टी वाटर कूलिंग और सेंट्रल वाटर कूलिंग एंड ऑल्सो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सी वाटर कूलिंग सिस्टम ऑन सिप्स आई विल शो यू द लाइन डायग्राम हाउ द एल टी और सेंट्रल कूलर वर्क एंड दी वाटर सर्विस सिस्टम वर्क The corrosion and other problem associated with salt water circulation can be minimized by using central cooling system, which uses a LT water, which is a distilled water produced from the fresh water generator with additives added in it. The LT water is the dist- actually the distilled water which is produced from the fresh water generator, and in that we add some additives to prevent corrosion in the LT water system. So first we are discussing about the sea water system and the service system. So this is the line diagram. You can see over here. This is the line diagram. So these are the sea chest, low sea chest, and here we have high sea chest. So we have two sea chest. Now you can see over here. This is the NGPS. This is the NGPS, and in sea chest, and in sea chest we have air vent and drain hole. This is the air vent and this is the drain hole. So suppose we are taking out the filter. So after boxing up the filter, uh, we will we will open the air vent so that the air can be vented out from the filter. We have a drain hole also in the main sea chest. So we have low and high sea chest. And this is the common manifold. This is the common manifold. This common manifold we have MGPS, Marine Growth Prevention System, which will prevent the marine uh, marine growth in the in the common manifold and in the sea water pipeline. It will prevent the marine animal to grow in the pipeline. Yeah. So from the common manifold, we have many suctions. We have many suction. So first uh, suction we have uh, for fire and GS pump, fire and bilge pump, for ballast water system. Blast pump. Now this is the, these are the two sea water pump. These are the two sea water pump number one and number two. And one line will go into the fresh water generator ejector pump. So this is the ejector pump. This one is the ejector pump. This one is the ejector pump. So you can see over here. From this, uh, uh, one line goes into the sea water pump. The sea water pump will go and cool the number one and number two LT fresh water cooler. So it will cool the number one and number two LT fresh water cooler, and the one line will go from here to the condenser, atmospheric condenser. Here, the steam con- condensate comes in. Okay, so one line will, one sea water will go and cool the condenser of the steam system, and after cooling, after cooling here, it will be discharged from. It will be discharged from here. Okay. So after uh, after cooling in LT cooler. And from uh, and condenser, the sea water will come this way and will overboard. Okay, same same in the fresh water generator. After cooling, the condenser of fresh water generator will be overboarded. So this is the pipeline for sea water cooling system. The sea water is drawn from the high sea chest when the ship is in port, and from change over to low sea chest when the ship sails away from port in high seas. So as the ship sails from the port. Uh, the change over is done to low sea chest, and when uh, in port we have high sea chest. The sea chest are incorporated with filter, air vent for purging, MGPS, drain hole. The all sea water system is on bottom platform. From the sea water manifold, the sea water is distributed for various purposes. Many pump such as sea water cool, uh, sea water pump for cooling. So from the main mani- from the main manifold, there is many sections. The first one is sea water pumping for cooling. Second one is the ballast pump for ballasting and deballasting of of ballast tanks. Third one is fire and GS pump. For fire fighting and deck washing, so we have two pump: fire and GS pump, fire and bilge pump. So fire and GS pump is used for fire fire fighting and deck washing, and fire and bilge pump is used for deballasting aft peak tank. So we have aft peak tank. At aft we have a peak tank. So for deballasting or ballasting that aft peak tank we use fire and bilge pump. For pumping out bilges during an emergency, this is the rare condition. Third one is the pumping out cargo hold bilges by the help of eductor. Yes, okay, so the, the cargo hold bilges in the bulk area, there is a cargo hold bilges. So do, So to pump out that cargo hold bilges with the help of eductor, we use fire and bilge pump. Fire and GS pump and fire and bilge pump can be interchanged. And number fifth point is ejector pump for fresh water generator. In the diagram, you can see all these pumps are connected to the common manifold line. Now we are interested in sea water pump only. We have two sea water pumps which take suction from the sea water common manifold with change over arrangement. The sea water pump with a pressure of 3.5 bar approx sends sea water to a height. So the sea water pump will send sea water to a height. Two, number one and number two, fresh water cooler or central cooler. Number two, sewage treatment plant. Number three, atmospheric condenser. And finally, after cooling all the equipment, it will goes overboard. So this is all about the sea water system. Now the sea water system cools the LT cooler. 
LT cooler and the LT water will cool the HT water. So this is the basic hierarchy. The C water will cool the LT water and the LT water will cool the HT water. So now we will talk about LT fresh water cooling system. Low temperature fresh water cooling system. So here you can see this is the LT fresh water cooling system on ships. So one by one we will go. This is the LT cooler number one, number two LT cooler. This is the low temperature C water, uh, low temperature fresh water pump number one and number two. These are the two low well coolers, number one and number two. These are the two jacket water coolers, number one and number two. Okay. This is the main engine air cooler. And here you can see number one generator for cooling the number one generator, LT water is used. For cooling the number two generator and number three generator. So LT water is used in main engine low well cooler, main engine jacket water cooler, main engine air cooler. This is the intermediate soft bearing. And again, we have uh, LT water is used for cooling the LT cooler fresh water booster pump. Engine control room, air conditioning, refrigeration provision plant for refer compressor uh, for refer uh, in the refer we have a condenser so it will be cooling that uh, same for the air conditioning refrigeration plant. This is the LT fresh water expansion tank. So from uh, from after cooling the generator, the outlet the outlet from each generator will go will go into the LT tank and after expanding here it will come over here. So after cooling all this equipment the outlet the outlet from all the outlet from all this will go into a common line this is the common line and this common line will uh, go into the pump okay. so one by one we will discussing about all this so here here you can see this is the low temperature cooling fresh water pump so this is the low temperature cooling fresh water pump this one and this one of 520 meter cube per hour so after cooling all the equipment it will go into the low temperature cooling fresh water pump from the low temperature fresh water, uh, cooling pump it will suck all the water after cooling this so now this will go into the low temperature fresh water cooler so we have sea water in and sea water out in the low temperature cooler sea water in and sea water out now you can see over here this is the actuator this is the actuator so the water uh, after cooling in the low temperature uh, fresh water cooler it will come over here so suppose the water here is the temperature will sense the temperature will sense over here the temperature we have a temperature sensor so the temperature will, will be sensed and, and it will maintain the temperature of the LT water at the outlet side so the LT water outlet side temperature is approximately 35 degrees celsius so here the temperature is 35 degrees celsius so if the temperature is 38 degrees celsius let's suppose the temperature is 38 degrees celsius then the then the actuator will bypass the bypass the water to the fresh water cooler okay if the temperature is suppose 32 degrees celsius then it will pass the water from here to here so the controller will bypass the water or will give the path to the water according to the temperature set over here so the temperature set over here is approximately 35 degrees celsius so the outlet from the LT cooler temperature is 35 degrees celsius so from here we have a three line one will go to the refrigeration plant, to the air conditioning plant, to the air compressor, and the one will go, one will go uh, here. Th to the 35 degrees Celsius, water will go here. So this is the number one line. This is the number. This is the number two line. This is the number three line, and this is the number four line. So you can see number one line goes into the refrigeration system, air compressor, and the domestic refrigeration system. And the one line will go. Number two line will go into the air cooler. This is the air cooler. So number two line you can see over here. This is the number two line. So number two line will go into the air cooler. Number three line will go into the main engine loop oil cooler. And after cooling in the main engine loop oil cooler, it will go into the jacket water cooler. And after cooling in the jacket water cooler, it will come out. So you can see after cooling in the air cooler, it will come out from here. And they will all mix here. So this is the point. So you can see number one will go here. Number two will go in the uh, main engine air cooler and number 3 line will go into the main engine loop oil cooler plus main engine jacket water cooler so after cooling in the main engine loop oil cooler the temperature is approximately 40 degrees celsius approximately 45 degrees celsius approximately 45 degrees celsius because in the main engine jacket water cooler so the HT water here the HT water is out HT water is in, in the jacket water cooler in the jacket water cooler HT water is HT water goes in and HT water goes out. So the LT water is used for cooling the high temperature HT water of the main engine. So as the temperature of HT water is approximately 
70 to 80 degrees Celsius. So we don't send 35 degrees Celsius LT water directly into the jet water cooler. So we first make this LT water to cool the low oil cooler. After cooling the low oil cooler, temperature becomes 45 degrees Celsius. Then only we send this 45 degrees Celsius into the jacket water cooler. Okay. So after cooling in the jacket cooling water cooler, the temperature will be approximately 40 degrees Celsius. So here we have 40 degrees Celsius and after cooling in the main engine air cooler, the temperature uh, after cooling here it will go from here. Okay. After cooling in the main engine jacket water cooler, it will come over here and it will, all this point will meet over here. Same same as like of this air conditioning system. So after cooling, so the, this is the number one line. So after cooling in all the system it will come here and it will meet at point here. After cooling, it will come over here. And after cooling in the here, it will come over here. This is the number one, this is the number two. Okay. Now the number three line will go into the all the all the generator. All this generator. So this is the line. It will go here, here, and here. And the outlet from the generator. Outlet from the generator will come in this line. So outlet from the generator will go into the expansion tank. So this is the outlet. The outlet will go into the expansion tank. So here you can see this is the expansion tank. And from the expansion tank, we have an outlet. This is the outlet. We will meet over here. So one outlet from the refrigeration line, air compressor, and domestic refrigeration refer system. One line from the main engine oil cooler, main engine air cooler, and jacket water cooler. So this is the number one point, this is the number two outlet line, this is the number three outlet line. So from number one, number two and number three, the fresh water cooler, fresh water cooler will take section from number three, number two and number one. So after cooling in all the equipment, all the machinery, the sea, cooling sea water, fresh water pump will take section from all these three and it will, and the heated water is sent to the LT cooler to again cool the LT water and the, then the operation continues. So guys, this is all about the LT water system line diagram. So I have given you a PDF below. You can link below. So you can go through it. So thus we can conclude there are three circuits: HT jacket cooling water fresh water system, LT fresh water cooling system, sea water cooling system. So the sea water cooling system will cool the LT water, and the LT water will cool the HT water. So what are the advantage of all the system? LT and ST fresh water cooling system. Low maintenance cost. As the system runs with fresh water, the cleaning maintenance and the component replacement reduces less corrosion. High speed of high speed of fluid, hence better heat exchange. Higher speed is possible in fresh water system, which result in reducing piping and low installation cost. Use of cheaper materials since corrosion factor decreases. Expensive material are not required for valves and pipelines. Constant temperature level maintained since the temperature control is irrespective of sea water temperature. So in the sea water temperature there is no controller okay. so in the lt water in the lt water only we have a controller lt water and in ht water we have a separate controller temperature controller so there is a constant temperature level maintained so in the lt circuit we are maintaining we have a controller in the outlet of the lt cooler we will maintain the temperature of the lt water in the system so a stable temperature is maintained which help in reducing machinery wear down due to thermal expansion if different maintained as for example in sea water cooling system so in the sea water, if you are using a sea water cooling water system in, ho in cooling all the equipment, then there can be a thermal expansion because of different different temperature reducing machinery and this will increase the machinery wear down etc. Less wear of engine parts, less wear of cylinder liner as jacket is maintained warm avoiding cold corrosion. Ideal for unmanned engine room, the greater reliability and temperature controlling of the system offered by central cooling system. Disadvantage is high installation cost and limitation of low temperature. So this is all about LT cooling system, LT water and sea water service system also. And in the next lecture we will be discussing about the HT cooling fresh water system. Okay. So meet you in the next guys. Uh, meet you in the next lecture guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please like and share. And, you, and if you haven't subscribed till now, subscribe the channel to get more videos like this.